In this CSS Flexbox project, we're going to be creating a layout that is called Holy Grail. And over here, you can see that we're going to have a header. This is going to be a side. This is going to be main content, nav. And over here, this is going to be the footer, right? However, if we make the screen size smaller, you can see what happens, right? So now it changes to actually a to the columns, right? And over here again, if we go back, right, this is going to be the main content. And we're going to see how easy it is to actually create it using CSS Flexbox and also how easy it is to actually customize this layout, right? So let's go over here to our index HTML over here like this and let's start working. So over here, I'm just going to say this is going to be a simple skeleton over here, right? And over here, we're going to say that we would want a, obviously, for the main CSS, we're going to say this is going to be a link. This is going to be a relationship. This is going to be style sheet. Then with the style sheet, we're going to say this is going to be an href main CSS, right? So this is going to be our CSS. And over here, we're going to say main file, right? Main CSS, this is going to be our file. So with an index HTML, or here, let's say English is going to be the language. And over here, let's start creating our layout, right? So I'm going to say div with a class over here. And we're going to say flex container container over here. Once we have the flex container, then we're going to have a header. Then within the header, we're just going to write that this is going to be header. Then after that, we're going to have a div over here. And we're going to say ID of main over here like this. And within the ID of main, we're going to have a aside over here. And again, we're going to write that this is going to be a side over here. This would be something for a commercials or something on your website. Then after that, we're going to say this is going to be nav. And we're just going to write that this is going to be the nav. And then after that, we're going to have a article over here. And we're going to say that this is going to be main content, content over here. And then we're going to have a footer, right? So outside over here, this div with the main, we're just going to have a footer. And over here, we're going to say footer, right? So once we have this, we can save it over here. And let's go to main CSS and let's start styling. So the first thing, as always, what we're doing is margins and paddings, right? So we're going to say over here, this is going to be a margin zero over here like this, then padding zero, right, for all the for all the elements on a page, right? Then we'll have a box sizing, not shadow, sizing. And we're gonna say this is gonna be border box over here like this, right? So simple enough. And then after that, we would want a header over here, footer. Then we would want a side, so pretty much all of them, right? We're gonna have nav and article over here, so five of them. And we're going to say that they're all going to have a padding of one EMs over here. Like, so the padding is going to be all around. Then after that, we would want a flex container. And then we're going to say that this is going to be display over here. And we're going to say flex over here like this, right? So first, what you can see what's happening, right? So you can see that right now they're displayed like this, right? But this guy is going to be its own master, right? So even though these are displayed in a row, this doesn't affect this guy, right? So then next thing we're going to say this flex direction, we're actually going to change it, we're going to say column, right? So now again, they're back in a column. And then I'm going to say the min height for a flex container, it's going to be 100 view heights over here like this. Now, next thing that we would want to do is actually work with the main, right? So this middle one, the side nav and main content. And I'm going to say that this is going to be a display right first we're going to say flex over here right so i see again right so now we have it displayed as a row then after that we're going to say this is going to be a flex direction column column over here and then we're going to have a flex and then we're going to say this is going to grow over here as much as it can it's not going to shrink and we're going to say that auto is going to be over here like this right so now you can see what we have so far right so you can see that it's basically what's doing it is actually pushing as much as it has to right so it is growing as as much as it can it's not going to shrink right and over here the flex basis is going to be auto so after that what we would want to do is start dealing with a media screens right so we're going to say that this is going to be a media 
and we're going to say this is going to be a media screen over here and then we're going to say and over here and we're going to say min width min width over here it's going to be 576 pixels over here like this and then we're going to have a hashtag main over here and for the flex direction this is going to be row so what we're saying is that on a small screen right this is what we would want right this would be the layout we would want however once we get to the bigger screen we actually would want it in a row so i'm going to say for the main this is going to be a flex direction this is going to be a row over here right and now actually let's start uh, applying the actual style so we can see it better what's actually happening right so then we're going to say for the header we're going to have a background color we're going to say a background color and we're going to say red over here right so header is going to be red padding is going to be one ems again right so over here like this and it's actually redundant because we already did it over there so no padding right so maybe let's say also for all of them let's say font size over here bigger font size let's say 35 pixels right so or you know what maybe 30 35 is a little bit too much right so now all of them have this font size and over here we're going to say this is going to be a flex right because this is a flex item so we're going to say flex and over here it's going to be very simple we don't want it to grow we don't want it to shrink but we want a flex basis of 10 view heights over here right and the problem maybe over here is going to be with these uh, font sizes so let's just keep it at 20 and then for sure we can see that this is changing right so over here you can see if i'm 11 right 12 13 and this is going to be let's say 9 and 8 right so what i'm saying is that i always want it to be 10 view heights over here right so nothing less nothing more all right so once we're done with the header let's actually go to the footer so we're going to say footer over here like this and then we're going to have a background color and we're going to say blue right so the footer is going to be blue and the same deal over here we're going to say flex and over here we're going to say this is going to be zero zero and here again we can go i don't know nine view heights right so again we're pretty much controlling or you know what let's do the same let's do 10 view heights over here like this right so what we're saying is doesn't matter what happens we want the 10 view heights and over here 10 view heights and then after that we would want a, a side right and when we're talking about a side what we mean is over here right so once we go over here right you can see that this is not where we would want right so all of them pretty much are side by side so we're going to go back over here and we're going to talk with the side we're going to say a side over here and we're going to have a flex and then this is going to be zero zero and this is going to be 10 view widths over here and background color we're going to say this is going to be green over here green right so for the small screen we don't care however what happens you can see what on a bigger screen right we right away get, get this 10 right and you already have guessed it probably right that if we're using the flex to actually manipulate this one we're going to do the same thing for the main content right so we're going to go back over here and we're going to say this is going to be article over here like this article right and what we would want to do with the article with the article we would want a flex over here we would want one so we would want it to grow then we would want actually one to shrink if we need to and auto is going to be auto size over here like this right so we're going to save this over here and the last one would be over here a nav right so you can see what happens this is going to be my my, my main content right and you you don't see right now but once we're actually going to start working with nav you'll see what we actually did right so over here we're going to go back and we're going to say this is going to be the nav and then we're going to have a flex and again we're going to do the zero zero and this is going to be 10 u widths over here and then this is going to be the background color and the background color we're going to do over here we're going to say this is going to be let's say zero 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 point seven over here like this one more zero zero point seven for this guy over here then over here what we're going to say that this is going to be let's say over here rgba first of all right so you can see i messed up over here rgba all right so this is going to be the nav 
and then we're gonna say order and order we're gonna say this is gonna be two right so this is what we're actually saying right so if you remember right if we're dealing with an items right so this one has an order zero this one has an order zero right all of them right including nav however if we set the nav to order number two right now this is always going to be the last value as long as we don't go specifically and say hey listen main content you're going to be order three or four or i don't know 2.5 or something like that right so this is how we actually move the nav away right so we said you know what we could have written in html but i just wanted to show you that to remind you that we can still work with an orders right and as you can see what happens right so as i'm going over here right so now what's happening right so this is going to be our main content right and now let's go over these properties with an articles right so let's start over here with this bigger screen right so what was the reasoning for this one right so you can see over here if i'm going to delete this right or let's just comment this out right so you can see what happens right now well actually i didn't comment this guy out so wait what happens over here right so i have three elements they are actually in a flex of row right so you can see main has a flex direction over here and this the flex direction is going to be row so all of them are side by side right so this one has 10 view widths right the nav has over here the 10 view width however if i go back over here and if i say you know what this one right this guy needs to grow as much as it needs to grow so what's going to happen right so what i'm saying is that grow as much as you can shrink if you have to and your basis should be auto so i'm going to delete this one over here and over here you can see what happens right so it grows it as much as it has to and over here it actually shrinks as much as it has to so you can see what's happening right you can see that it's nicely shrinking right now once we go to the smaller screen we're actually dealing with this one right what we're what we said was we want it to be displayed flex flex direction over here column however remember it's also a pet, a child right of the container and if the container was flex right then we can work with the ch children items right and this is what we said over here we said listen the main content grow as much as you have to right the whole main grow as much as you have to don't shrink and again this is going to be an auto so this is what happens right so now when we have a 10 view heights 10 view heights this is always going to be the rest of the value that's available on the screen and this is how easy we can make a holy gray layout right without using any kind of floats and the reasoning for that is a css flexbox